Friends and neighbors, how are we doing today? Or this evening, you know, whenever you're watching this. Jedi Phoenix with you here again. Welcome to another edition of the Chronicles. It's Monday night as I'm recording this. Hope everyone's had a good weekend or a good start to the week. And if you watch the Super Bowl, if you had a favorite team you're rooting for, hope you managed to enjoy the game. So, uh, once again, I have another unboxing for you today. And this one comes from Rebel Sabres. A little bit of a story with this one. Um, I hope you'll allow me uh, a little indulgence. So if, uh, if nothing else, I'll, I'll try to go through it briefly, but it kind of speaks to the, um, the customer service of the company uh, for anybody who's not familiar with them. So I ordered this around the 18th of January. And um, I placed an order for four sabers, four separate sabers, two for myself and then two for my kids. And I kept it separate because one thing I've learned is that with some companies, if you're ordering more than one saber, if one saber is on back order, then the whole order gets held up. And I didn't want my kids' sabers to be held up by mine, so that's why I kept it separate. Uh, day after I ordered, I got an email from one of the customer service reps, Nikki. She said that they noticed that it was four savers going to one house and asked if I wouldn't want to uh, consolidate them into one order to keep it simple, which makes sense. I, um, I thanked them for the offer. I told them no, and I explained why. And uh, they were agreeable to that, and I said, look, why don't you keep my order, my two sabers as one order, and ship the other two separate. So the other two, of course, got here separately. I've already done reviews on those. And, uh, you know, Nikki said, okay, yep, we can do that, not a problem. Um, she did mention that she thought I was going to like the two sabers that I ordered, and, and I'm quoting the email, we have a surprise for you. I don't know what she meant by that. I didn't then. I still don't. We'll find out in a minute when I open this thing up. Um, the only uh, bump in the road that I hit was an error with the tracking number. I thought that this was going to arrive. Well, first of all, I got two separate emails. Um, I thought there was uh, one was going to arrive on Friday the 5th. Today's the 8th as I'm recording this. And I thought the other was going to arrive today. Turns out there was an error with the tracking number. They both came today in one box. So, but uh, overall, um, no complaints with the two sabers for my kids, and hopefully, no problems with this order either. So, we'll see what we got. <clears throat> now, I'm assuming. Based on the fact that, as far as I know, Rebel Sabres uses the same distribution company as um, Crimson Dawn and Dark Wolf, that the Sabres are going to be all wrapped in cellophane. So when I go to unwrap all of that, I'll pause the video to spare you guys, the viewers, out of that. And uh, again, this is just going to be a, a first impression. You know, first glance, first impression unboxing, and I'll save the full reviews for each separate saber. And I think, oh, wait a minute. Um, time out. 
What is... Alright, I think I found out what the surprise was Nikki was talking about. What is this? Did I order a bazooka? Oh, no, wait a minute. I remember, okay. I remember Darth Raven's Blades um, talking about the Kylo Ren cross guard that he got. It came in a case. Um, and I guess they don't do that for all the sabers, just some of them. Apparently, I don't know if one of them or both of them I ordered is in this case. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I, I gotta show this off here. Let me... So it looks like a combination lock on this thing. Which I hope these things are on. I hope that's just for show or whatever, because I don't know the combo. Um... Uh, yep, okay, okay, there we go. We're, we got this open now. And we've got... Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, all right, hold up. I thought... All right, now, now, I'm, now I'm confused. I had two emails. Two. The two orders, two emails, they had the same tracking number. And there's only. There's only one saber in here. So. Alright, I'm gonna have to email. Uh, Rebel Sabers or Nikki or whoever to find out what's going on. I thought there was going to be, I thought there might have been two Sabers in here. There's just the one. So, all right. Well, let me unpack this thing. We've got the usual battery charger. We've got the. Tension screws, the stand. Bleed, you're not here for that. All right. All right. So, the second saber, I don't know what's up with that. I'll have to email and find out. I did get an email from Nikki. Um, what happened was, I thought this one apparently was going to come on Friday because I wasn't sure if they had combined them or not. And there was a saber that got delivered in North Carolina with a tracking number that I thought was mine. Turns out there wasn't. So, all right, yeah, no, now I think it was going on. It was a tracking number error. The second one that I ordered was not ready to go. Um, okay. So I, I, I take that back. Now I remember what's going on. The second one hasn't shipped yet. There was, right, there was just this one. So we've just got... One saber, one saber for today, but in this very nice case, and that saber is oh, I'm sure you some of those fans will be able to recognize this one. This is the Dark Legacy from Rebel Sabers. Better known as Darth Vader's saber. This one is the um, LG um, RGB in the hilt. Not a NeoPixel. The reason I didn't get a NeoPixel on this one is because I wanted to be able to use it. So this looks good. I'm gonna pause the video and get the wrapping off of this and the blade so I can get all that ready to go. I'm gonna show this saber off first without the blade in, 
I'll pause it again, get the blade in, so we can fire, see if this thing fires up, and we'll see what we'll have. All right, hang on one second. All right, I'm back on. So, uh, while I was unwrapping this, I took a look at my emails just to double check. The, okay, so it's my mistake when I was recording this. The second Sabre that I ordered has not shipped yet at all. It was just the tracking number that I thought was on the second one. Should have been on this one all along. So I remember they did tell me that the second one um, wasn't ready to ship yet. I was just, you know, getting ahead of myself. So the second one will get here when it gets here. But in the meantime, we have this beautiful thing. And I'm just going to move this case real quick. Ugh. Take a look at this thing. For the same reason I got um, Luke's saber from Return of the Jedi, I figured I should have at least a few of the movie replicas in my collection here, in my armory as I call it. And uh, Vader has always been my favorite uh, villain you know, ever, period. So I knew I had to have this. It's got hand grip here that it's a little wide, which makes sense when you think about it. I mean, if it's supposed to be a rep uh, somewhat of a replica of Vader, he's got the robot hands. Does have a switch plate, and I can see we have a, um, another plate that's similar to the one that's on Luke's, but this one I think is more in line with what Vader had. Uh, a plate there with his name on it. The cover tech wheel, if you remember um, Vader's. Saber has a cover tech wheel near the emitter instead of near the pommel. And then, of course, the emitter itself has that funky um, curved shroud to it, for lack of a better term. But not sure what this is supposed to be right here. Something for a little flare, maybe? I don't know. That's your bad when it holds it like that. D wing kind of flops around a little bit. But that's not bad. That's tighten that a little bit. This one's very nice, and I do plan on using it. Uh, let me see what we got as far as the retention. All right, so it looks like we got retention screw holes there, and on the other side of the emitter. So I'm going to pause this video one more time. I'm going to get the blade in here as best as quickly as I can, and we'll fire this up and see what we got. All right, be right back. All right, we're back, and we got the blade in. Um, one thing I did notice, part of the paraphernalia that comes with this, I have a feeling that charging the battery for this might be, might not be as simple as plugging in the cable to the charging port. Um, they include this battery charger, which is the first I've ever gotten from um, an LGT uh, Sabre, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. And there's this little card with very hard to read instructions. So it might have to be, I gotta take this apart, take the battery out, plug it in, charge it up, and put all this together. So I'm not gonna do that here, don't worry about that. But here's what we have this blade in 
Let's see if we have enough insurance to fire this up. Ready? One, two. We have light! Okay, one thing right off the bat. Not a big hole in the palm of the sound to come through, so it might sound, it sounds a little bit muffled. But definitely still a smooth swing. Let me try to get a uh, red shade on here. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. Hang on. That's a Vader blade. There we go. I, I learned to stop it in the chandelier in this room. Not bad, not too bad. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Definitely a wider grip than uh, other sabers that I'm, I'm used to here. But it's screen accurate, so I'm not going to complain that much. Um, oh, there we go. That's what that is. I was wondering what this was before. This is a little window. And, of course, we have our little light on the hilt and the switch plate so there's a blaster effect mm -hmm. alright so I will uh, mess around with this get the battery charged Bring the sand to full power, then put it through its paces. And um, as for the other saber, like I said, that was a mistake on my part. I got to learn to be a little more patient, I guess. Uh, it'll get here when it gets here. You know, I, I usually don't sweat uh, waiting times for sabers. It's just that I got the email. When I saw the two tracking numbers, I thought they were coming in the same box, but apparently they weren't able to do that for whatever reason. But whatever, hey. That case, though, was a bonus. I was not expecting that. That is nice. So, I will give you guys one more look at the Dark Legacy before I sign off. And as I put this thing through its paces, I hope it um, performs as good as it looks, so to speak. So the full review of this will be coming soon enough. And uh, until then, um, subscribe if you have to my channel if you haven't already. Find me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Um, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good week. And until I see you in the next video, be good, be well, be safe, be happy.